Hey guys, the Ride Designs here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a polyscape. Uh, I've actually made polyscape videos before, but um, I wasn't like it wasn't up to par with what I can do nowadays. Um, so this is what I made on the previous tutorial. I can teach you how to make something like this, but even better because at that point I wasn't uh, wasn't up to par. Please excuse the arc thing, steam thing. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't up to par with like what I can do nowadays. I don't really do these polyscapes much, but they're really cool. And there aren't that many tutorials on how to do them on YouTube. So I was like, hey, why not? Let's do some tutorials. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you how to make. So first off, obviously you have Photoshop open. And drag in a picture of choice. So I'm just scrolling through... Uh, some pictures I've downloaded I'm trying to find a good one I'm actually I have a second monitor so that's why you can't really see anything uh, so I'm just scrolling through on my second monitor hmm uh, maybe maybe this picture I, I'm just gonna drag it in or you can also file new and make a new like file uh, if, if you so choose to do so there's the picture that I got from uh, unsplash.com. Um, they have some really nice uh, royalty-free images that you can use in anything, and they're really high res too. If we go see uh, Control Alt C, um, I'm on Windows by the way. Uh, if we go to Pixels, it's 3872 by 2178. It's not that big. I've seen like other bigger images, but yeah, it's decently good. Uh, I believe you can upscale this to 4K if you choose to do so. And then here you go, you have a 4K monitor. Um, <clears throat> monitor wallpaper, whoops. Alright, so first off, um, without rambling on too much, uh, you press Control Command J, and that duplicates the layer. So we always want to keep an original copy of the, the picture, just in case uh, we mess up or whatever. So then we're going to control command J again, and we're going to have two copies. So layer one will be copy one, and then cop layer one copy will be copy two, pretty much. I don't really feel like renaming, renaming them, so <clears throat> if you really want to, you can, but I'm not going to do it. So uh, now, so let's do like a little like diamond effect. So um, let's go to our shape tool, pick the rectangle tool, and... May, uh, hold shift while you're making this so it uh, it resizes it proportionally instead of like stretching it out you know what I mean uh, so but there's good uh, we'll resize it and then control command T and then uh, click outside the bounding box and then hold shift to rotate in 15 degrees so I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees so it looks like that and then press enter and it should give you this uh, turn to a live shape just click yes so now if you don't have your rulers also open you can press con uh, control command R that opens the rulers or you can go to window and uh, where is it uh, I don't see oh view I believe rulers yeah and then um, what you want to do is um, drag a ruler to the middle I like to do that so I know where the exact center is it should snap to the uh, exact center to, of the image so you should have that you should be okay with that so then um, we're gonna we're gonna like resize it a little bit so it's at the dead center and then we're gonna move this down to the uh, under the copy too and then we're gonna right click and create clipping mask as you can see not uh, there isn't much going on so uh, let's com uh, control command T and rotate the image uh something like i don't know something like this looks pretty cool it looks like distorted but not that distorted i think that looks really cool uh you can have that and then that's pretty like the pretty much uh the key of this is making clipping masks and just just changing like this around pretty much rotating them different ways so like right now this is looking pretty good so far but we want to take it a step further so let's do um i don't know let's do like an ellipse tool so uh choose the ellipse tool uh 
press shift at the center and then drag and then press uh, alt and should be at the center should center it like this and then you have another another circle there and then move this under the rectangle so it should be uh, you can see the the circle under the rectangle and then what you want to do is uh, hold alt and drag the second layer under the the square or the rectangle and then this it looks really crappy like that but just right click create clipping mask on the circle and you should have this effect going on right now but that means that the, the square that we created or the rectangle that we created isn't visible anymore it's actually like in the background so what we want to do is uh, press command command or control T on on the third copy that we created under where the circle is clipped and we're just gonna like rotate it I don't know um, I don't know I'm finding like a good spot to rotate it to uh, I don't know something something like that maybe uh, yeah all right well we pretty much flipped it upside down but we don't want to keep the circle like whole if you get what I mean um, so click on fill uh, click the the white square with the red uh, line through it and that means that there isn't anything in there anymore so we go to stroke and then we click fill and then we drag this up like something like that 20 22.60 um, that's good for me but it may vary on yours and then you have this cool circle now it's not like entirely full because you can still see the background of the image but I don't really like this too much so uh, I'm going to distort it only slightly uh, so you can see both uh, both the background the rectangle and the circle but I'm not really liking this too much. Hold on. I guess I guess something like this is okay. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can still kind of see the background in a sense. I think that's looking pretty cool so far. So um, going back to the polyscapes, uh, let me see if I can find uh, some more. Well, this is the one that we created. We're pretty kind of much doing the same thing in a sense, but a little better. Um, because I actually in the previous tutorial didn't teach you how to do like the ring effect. I only just put you know shapes on top of shapes and then just create clip mask and just upside down stuff like that. But um, now um, what we want to do add to like this the rectangle that we created, uh, we go you could go to stroke and then make it white or a color that you prefer. But for this, uh, let me see if I can change this. No, no. Cannot change it. Alright, so we're gonna uh, do something different. So, what? Um, click the rectangle and hold Alt and drag above the second layer. And then we're gonna com control Command T. And then we're going to drag this up slightly and then uh, make it white. And then we're gonna drag this underneath the rectangle. And so far, it looks like there's a stroke around it, it looks pretty cool. But if you really want to take a step further, um, you can either keep it like this, kind of minimal, and um, and then like keep it like that. But uh, I think an effect that looks really cool is like if you put an overlay. I think that looks really cool, makes it stand out a little bit more. And again, you can do the same effect with uh, with circle as well. So if I make this white, actually, uh, I'm gonna put fill white, and then uh, that. Actually, no. Go back, fill zero, and then white stroke. And then I'm gonna put it on overlay. I think that makes it stand out more, makes it look pretty cool so far. And uh, I don't know. Uh, next up, like what we can do is adjust the color correction to make it look, you know, pop out better and make the colors blend in more, that kind of stuff. So uh, you can go to curves. 
And then this is what I always do. I'm just gonna be teaching you like what I always do. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you like what you should do. If you, it depends on the image that you're using as your wallpaper. So uh, what I always do is I bring up the blacks um, or the black colors up a bit, so it gives it like that little foggy effect. And then that's like the the super hipster vintage mate effect that a lot of people like call it so and then we're gonna bring uh, the white colors a little bit down but it's not looking I mean if you really like it then you can keep it like this too but we're gonna, I'm gonna take it a little bit further and then kind of do the same but bring this uh, the black color in and a little bit up and then I take the white color back a little, I think uh, okay yeah back and down a bit and then in the middle we're going to we're going to put this down and then up top we're going to put this up a little bit as you can see the colors look a lot like a lot better and more real in a sense uh, see if I take if I delete this it looks a little bit too dark I get I think this gives it like a little cool like effect to it um, so if we group these two layers and turn it off, you can see a drastic change in the image quality. I think this looks would look a lot better than this. But if, again, if you want to keep it minimal, you can always go with the changing from overlay to normal and then put it in like this. And again, it depends on you and what you like and on your image as well. So, um... There are other effects you can do as well, like, um, so this is just one effect that we can do. I'm going to group this, that's okay. I'm going to name this one, and then I'm going to save it. Um, I'm going to go creations, right, PSD, and then I'm going to put this, I'm going to name the tutorial po Polyscape Tutorial. 2015 that's what I'm gonna name it as um, another cool effect that you can do with this I'm gonna make another copy of this same layer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the circle one uh, like that and I'll, I've seen a lot of other cool effects like uh, what they do so I'm gonna bring up my guides again by pressing Control command H and I'm going to move this circle to the top left quadrant of the image um and then oh shit oh whoops i uh i'm gonna do that with the square as well the white square uh, so it gives it so the same effect stays with the picture and then we're gonna move the image as well we're gonna move it down a bit like that and then we're gonna uh we're gonna select all of them press command j control and command j and then we're gonna bring it over here to the top right quadrant of the image. And then we're gonna select the image and then we're gonna move it. And then again, we can like rotate it a little bit more uh, like this. And then we're gonna select them all and then bring them to the bottom right quadrant. And then bring the image down, you know, like change it up a little bit uh, like that. However you like, or you can put the sky at the bottom. Again, this is up to your personal like creativity and how you like to do stuff, pretty much. So you can put this like that. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. And then I'm gonna have my guides, and you have like a cool background. And if you want, like finish it off in a way, you can like put this in the middle, and then have like. Uh, hold on, let me fix it up a little bit. Uh, something like that. Um, I'm kind of making this like really fast uh, because I, you know, this is tutorial. I'm not gonna like. It's not gonna be like a hundred percent what I do. I obviously would take a lot more time into my designs and everything, but this is just showing you like what to do, and I think this looks pretty cool. Like as a wallpaper, if you want, I'll have this in the description as a wallpaper uh, size as its current size. So it'll be um, 
3872 by 2178, but you can obviously change it to whatever resolution you um, have it at. So 4K, uh, 1080p, 1440p, whatever. You can just have it how you like. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my first tutorial in a very, very, very long time. I think a year? About? Yeah, something like that. Well, yeah, I was a little fidgety with the tutorials, but uh, hopefully I, I'm going to do more. I'm going to get better at them. Stuff like that. So, um, bigger and better plans are coming in the future very very soon so keep that and uh, like comment and subscribe and uh, stay tuned with all my videos and such I have a lot of things coming up especially since uh, going to LA soon for anime expo and I'm gonna put out some videos for that too so um see you guys in the next tutorial and hopefully uh, the video was helpful for you thank you bye